Hi guys. I'm going to preface this hunting video by saying that I did make an attempt to um, mount my scope cam onto the scope. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'll put a link down here and you can take a look at my scope cam. And I thought about mounting it to this, but this scope has a plastic ocular piece. The scope cam, in order to work properly, needs to pinch pretty hard on the ocular piece and I think it would have either shattered this or collapsed this and I wasn't going to do that. Also, the, the pumping motion of this gun um, would have jarred the heck out of that scope cam and a big part of its success is to stay in the same spot all the time. And this does not lend itself well to something holding still back here. So I did my best with the equipment that I had and hopefully it comes through as something mildly entertaining. Here it is. We're up in the hayloft here. This is actually my childhood playground. It's mostly vacant of straw or hay now, and there's a lot of cracks and a lot of light peering through where it wasn't when I was a kid. But uh, all in all, it's still holding up, and uh, it's, um, it's cool to be here. Cool to think of those days. I did get to test the gun out as a hunter today. Um, put the smack down on the starlings and the sparrows at 20 yards. I did want to test it out on something bigger. So. I took one pigeon, took a shot at one pigeon. It's a full grown bird, and uh, I hit him square in the chest here. This was with the, uh, the Crossman Copperhead pointed pellets, the ones that proved the most accurate. So he got hit square in the chest, and he dropped like a rock, instant death. But something worth noting is there was no exit wound. So this gun created enough energy, certainly, to get to his heart, but not to exit out his back. For me, this raises the concern that people would use this gun for... Hi guys, at this part I'm going to pause the video because I felt like I was being a little too preachy, a little too judgmental about how I think you should use this gun. We have enough people telling us what to do. We have governments and parents telling us how we should live our lives and we get enough of that. So I really didn't want to do that anymore because I don't enjoy when someone tells me what to do or how to live. So let me just give you the facts and then you can decide for yourself how you'd want to use this gun. But when it comes to hunting squirrels and rabbits, I'll tell you that you need at least four foot-pounds of energy on the kill zone of a squirrel or a rabbit to knock it down with authority. One half of an inch I consider to be the kill zone, either brain or heart and lung shot. As we saw, this gun will deliver five foot-pounds of energy at 25 yards. But what we haven't seen is that it can keep those shots within one half of an inch. I'm not gonna preach at you what it means to be an ethical hunter. We all make these decisions for ourselves and ultimately it's on each one of us to decide for ourselves what we consider a proper kill. So here's a deal. Five foot-pounds of energy at 25 yards, but in my opinion, not good enough accuracy. So I would take shots on critters at 15 yards or less with this. But the truth is that I would prefer a more powerful gun. I would prefer a gun that has 10 foot-pounds of energy. I don't like using the bare minimum, and the reason for that is I put a pellet through a rabbit when I was 12 years old through his guts and chased him around for a half an hour trying to get a follow-up shot. Of course, the rabbit didn't want me getting close, so he kept his distance from me and I was unable to get a good shot. I watched the rabbit suffer, I watched him cough up blood, and I watched, uh, slow painful death until he no longer could run and I could give him the final shot in the head. That moment sticks out in my head and I think it sticks out in a lot of hunters heads. For many of us it changes the way we think about hunting and that we want to get that clean kill. So that's up to you and that's all I have to say on that matter guys. Okay uh, back to the original video. So I recommend if you want to do squirrel hunting or rabbit hunting you go up to something a little more powerful. That's just my two cents. 
again, take it for what it's worth. But as a bird thumper, this thing is great. The kitties, they're gonna love me for taking this guy for them. Here, kitty. Here, kitty, kitty.